Hey guys, so today I'm going to do an updated makeup collection. So, um, this will probably be a two or three parter, just depending on, um, how many minutes are on this, because I'm feeling, filming on my, um, phone on this app called iMovie, and it only allows you to upload 15 minutes worth of video on YouTube from your phone on this app, so... Yeah, it just depends. Okay. Um, first of all, just a disclaimer. I don't want to brag. Um, I don't have that much makeup, but, like, a lot of girls do. Um, so, yeah. I don't have that much makeup. So, but it might seem like a long video. So, let's just get right into it. All right? Let's go. So this is just an overview of like my makeup station. I just have my desk with brush and stuff like that. And then this is just like my makeup mirror which has a light. And yeah. And then here's just like where I film some videos where like I turn this light over here and I turn it on. Oh, there we go. And then sometimes you'll see me, like, filming with that on top. That's sometimes where I film. So, like that. Or that. Okay. Um. Wait, actually, I should turn it on because that's good light. Um. So, yeah. So, here's, like, some stuff I put on here. I'll walk you through that in... Actually, I'll do that now. Okay. So first of all, I have this Body Ecology, um, you know what, I'll do it from, hang on. Okay, dokie. So first I have this, um, Body Ecology Fragrance Mist and Enchanted Force, and it's just like a sample size. I got it from Target, and it was about a dollar, and it says on the back it's hypnotic, so it's the alluring hypnotic blend of jasmine, nutmeg, and musk will enchant your senses. I've been uh, using this for, I've been using this a lot, and it's uh, 59 ml, which is two fluid ounces. So you probably can't take it on the plane, because the plane only allows one fluid ounce. But if you get um, those like little mini hand sanitizers from Bath & Body Works, the pocket backs, those are one fluid ounce. So you can take, you know, something that's that size on a plane. That's what... 1 ml looks like, or 1 fluid ounce looks like. Okay, um, then I have my, um, Invisible Solid Secret, um, deodorant, and I've been, it smells pretty good, it's, um, Shower Fresh, so I think it smells like mint or something like that, some kind of leaf. But yeah, um, and then I have my Cetaphil Daily Facial Moisturizer with the SPF of 15 for on, all skin types, uh, lightweight, non-greasy formula with UVA and UVB protection. This is four fluid ounces with the pump, and you can like lock it so like it's locked right now. But if it's if I turn it, so like if I turn it, it you can like pump it out now. But I don't want to pump it out because it will get on my desk. And then I have my Ulta uh, Vanilla Sugar Sheer Fragrance Mist with Protective White Tea Extract. And I have not seen this forever, and it's really old. But I can totally smell the Vanilla Sugar. I've been wearing this a lot um, when I like first got it, because I got it for like Christmas a few years ago, so it's really old, but... It still smells really good. And this is 8 fluid ounces. And then I have this um, Oahu Coconut Sunset Fine Fragrance Mist from Bath & Body Works. This is also 8 fluid ounces. And that's kind of crazy. Like These are both 8 fluid ounces, but they're different shapes. So yeah, it smells like coconut and... Mm, it smells so good. And then I have um, the Paris More Fine Fragrance Mist. And it smells really good. I also have the um, 
the mini pocket back hand sanitizer in Paris some more. So yeah, these like really go together. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Next up. Stuff. No. Next up, um, some hand sanitizers and just like some daily stuff I use. Yeah, okay. I've totally forgot about brushes and something else. So let me go this let me go through this real quick. I have a Mac Fix Plus dupe I made and if you want to see a video please like and subscribe. <coughs> Like this video and subscribe to my channel. Then I have my uh, Eco Tools, um, like buffing powder brush. I use to like buffing foundation and powder my face. And then I have the Eco Tools foundation brush, which I use for a clean cream blush. Yeah, quick cream blush. And then I also have the um, the concealer brush, which I use for um for blending my eyeshadow because I can't find any other eyeshadow brushes that are cheap and really soft so this is like the best I can find but yeah I really recommend this if you don't want to spend a lot of money on makeup and you're like new you know you just starting makeup I would recommend this as like a, either a concealer brush or like a, a blending brush for eyeshadow and then I have some, um, I have, there's like random one, these two random ones. This one is by Up and Up, it's the medium shadow brush. And then this one, it doesn't have a name, but it's like an angled brush. It's really weird. I don't really know what it is by. And then I have some, um, Sonia K Kashuk. I have her powder brush, number one. I have her lash and brow brush number three I have her foundation brush which is number two I have um, her shadow brush which is number five I have her blush or not blush um, crease blush crease brush which is number seven it looks like that then I have her, um, liner number six, like that. And then I have her, um, smudge brush, which is number eight. And this could also be, like, a good accent brush to, like, dot on, like, concealer or something to, like, hide up a, ble a blemish. And then I have her lip brush, which is number four, and it's really cool because you could, like, just take that off. With a little hand up and like put it in here so like it doesn't get anything like messy with the gloss or lipstick or whatever okay that was that next to um just some random stuff i have like some stuff i use every day so let's get into it first i have glycerin which is for my um mac fix plus dupe um so yeah and then i have this box from my um nyx matte bronzer which is right here and it is in the shade medium mbb03 and it is actually really good um i got it at ulta i don't know how much it was i forgot but it's pretty a pretty good deal for like this stuff i really recommend um um, NYX because um, it's like really high quality or like pretty really good quality makeup for like cheap so yeah you should probably go check them out they have a website NYX.com and they ha and they sell or NYX cosmetics.com and then they sell their products like at Ulta or um yeah and then I have an Ulta Fabulous Face Pressed Powder, which my, it's uh, light to medium. It's at Ulta, and my mom was using this, but um, I ran out of my powder, so she let me have it. And then I have this like Bare Minerals Mineral Veil. It used to be like a little sample of like her of their Mineral Veil powder, but I ran out of it, so I made um, blush with um some red eyeshadow and 
Um, and cornstarch. It made like this really nice color. If you can see, I hope you can see. It's like reddish pink. It's really nice blush. The powder blush. And then I have this NYX um, cream blush. And this is in the shade Natural. Natural CBO2. And it's just like this really nice um, peachy pink color. Um, so yeah, it's really, really nice. This Anastasia After Tweezers Cream and some Tweezers. This is from Sally Hansen called Bushy Brows Be Gone. This is from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And then I have my um, Elmay Smart Shade Concealer in Light Medium number 20. I have my Alme foundation in number 300 naked. I have my Maybelline Expert Eyes 100% oil free eye makeup remover. I have this like MAC pigments before. So, like a pearl, bronze, uh, gold, and a pink shimmery. And then I have my five pocket backs by Bath and Body Works. I have um, more vanilla sugar. I have a passion fruit fig. I have lemon daisy. I have citrus orchid chill. And then um, Paris more. Okay, and that was it for one side. Let's go to the other side. And then I have my lip products. So I have a lot of baby lips. I'm going to go pretty fast because I'm going to lose my minutes of 15. So I have Pink Punch, Try Me, Grapevine, and Quenched from the original collection. I have the Neon Collection, Bomb. I think this was Pink, Pink Shock. Yeah, Pink Shock, Fierce and Tangy, um, Minty Sheer. And Strike a Rose. And Strike a Rose, Berry Bomb, Pink Shock, Fierce and Tangy, Minty Sheer, and then Quenched, um, Pink Punch, Grapevine, and Jeremy. Okay, I have some NYX, which I have the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream, so I have two of them. Two of them. This one is in Cairo. This one is in Buenos Aires. I have two lipsticks, two round sticks um, in Harmonica. And it's just like this really nice, like, frosty, icy pink. And it's good for, like, highlighting the inner part of your lips for, like, kind of an ombre effect, I guess. And then I like, this one's my favorite of the two I have, which is uh, Shiva. And it's really nice, like dark dark um kind of pinkish purple and then i have um some clinique chubby sticks i have one of their um shout out tint for eyes chubby stick in ample amber number four i have um and then i have two of their um moisturizing stick balms lip color balms one in 13 mighty mighty minutia and then this one in Super Strawberry number 7 and number 13. And this one is like they're red and this one is like a really nice pink. And then I have some lipsticks. This one I made myself and I called it Pink Martini. This one is the Revlon Lip Butter in 53 Sorbet. This is an um, Estee Lauder lipstick in um, Crystal Baby Cream. And this one is a MAC one um, in 